Hi, welcome to Sewing Bee Unpicked, Unraveled, Unstitched, whatever you want to call it, uh, with me, Jane, from Haberdash Do. Uh, I'm just going to go through some of the patterns that they used or some alternatives that you could use for the skirt, um, which is the uh, first challenge, and also the made to measure at the end, which was a wrap dress. Uh, it's what they called a capsule wardrobe. Uh, so basically all you need to go on holiday is a mini skirt, a weird going out outfit made out of leisure wear, and a wrap dress. Sorted. Anyway, no further ado, I'm going to crack on. So they were asked to make a mini skirt in the first challenge. Uh, the pattern challenge, isn't it? I forgot what it was called. It's been so long. Um, I've only managed to find one pattern for McCall's, but it is pretty similar. Um, the feature of that skirt was it didn't have a waistband. It had um, a couple of darts, uh, front and back, centre back zip and uh, a facing on the waistband uh, so that's what this is it's a bit straighter than the one they showed and it doesn't have the patch pockets but um, you could easily make your own and put those on they had to pipe the patch pockets uh, so they came up against a few mistakes there somebody cut the piping too short um, we always say always cut a little bit longer because it's easier to make it to cut it off shorter than it is to make it any longer uh, and they had problems lining the pockets up, getting them even. So we've all got tape measures, we can do that. <laughs> um, but uh, on the whole, they, they looked pretty good. Um, they had exposed zips at the back as well, which um, on the whole looked uh, really nice. So piping wise, uh, I think they said that you could use ready-made piping. So we've got uh, lots of different ones in stock. This is quite a wide one. Uh, we've got this in lots of different colours and then you, we've got a, a narrower one uh, I've chosen a dark colour which isn't the greatest to see but um, and again that comes in lots of different colours the other alternative is to make your own uh, with a cotton piping cord and a bias binding which I've failed to pick up um, or you can cut your own fabric we do have a bias tape ma uh, bias tape maker in stock we do them in two different widths this is the wider width which is easier for piping um and you just uh, cut your fabric into strips and feed it through with the iron and, and you can press it uh, right some suitable fabrics for a skirt they wanted wool so i don't have a huge amount in stock but i do have some a few nice ones okay so uh this is a poly wool check um the thing with this is you would have to line up the checks on the side seam uh, if you're being pedantic. Um, well, not pedantic, if you wanted it to look really smart, <laughs> um, because the checks are so obvious that it would show up. You'd also probably want to line um, these skirts. They didn't mention lining at all in these, and if you're wearing a wool skirt, you really want to line it, or I would anyway. Uh, so that's a poly wool check. I think that is £15 a metre. Uh, we've got this is 100% wool it's like a tweedy effect wool it's a dark blue with a black herringbone um, design in it and then it's got these uh, crisscross lines in a sort of a rusty colour running through it it's really beautiful it's almost like a tailoring weight uh, fabric that one and then the last wool mix one I have is this one it's a heavier weight mix uh, it's a lovely weight actually again you might want to line up the checks it's not as obvious as the other one uh, it's black and white and it's got this lovely fleck through it so you could pick out um, the fleck with the piping it's got green yellow rust lots of different colors there so uh, that's the skirt I think the judges uh, probably shows the right winner for that one can't remember who it was now. <laughs> uh, Angela, possibly Deborah. Can't remember. I haven't got to grip with all the names yet. Um, right, the lounge wear challenge, transformation challenge. I'm not even going to go there. I don't think there was a single thing that I could have worn out of that. And maybe there was one top which I think uh, Jill made. Um, was like a little velour? She made a crossover top. But that's probably an age thing. <laughs> I'm going to wear a little bikini top out which is one of the ones that won uh, anyway they do keep insisting on continuing with the transformation challenge 
one's a bit of fun, isn't it? Right, wrap dresses. Uh, there was a lot of variety. Um, I think some people doubled up. I, you know, more than one contestant used the same pattern. Um, from what I could tell, there were, there were quite there was a couple of similar kind of ones. I've managed to find some quite a few McCall's uh, patterns, some alternatives, and I think a couple of them may well have been used in the show. So I'll kind of run through those with some fabric suggestions as well. Okay, um, I can't remember who did what so I apologize in advance but as we go on through the weeks I will get to know the contestants and um, what they're making so uh, to start with um, I think this pattern was actually used by the lady who made the green dress um, it looked like it was made from like a cotton poplin because it was quite a stru well structured um, fabric and uh, that it was not stiff but it it had a bit of stiffness about it. Um, so that's quite a nice pattern. I keep meaning to make it up actually. Um, so you've got a dress, um, you can do a blouse or a blouse with a peplum as well. Um, so you get um, quite a bit for your money um, on that. Um, you could do it in a poplin. Um, we've got lots of different poplins um, uh, which are suitable or even um, an Indian cotton lawn would work for something like that. Uh, these are new in. We've got a few different colourways for those. Um, that's a, a, a cotton lawn as well. The cotton lawn is um, softer and a bit more drapey than a poplin. It's a finer weave uh, cotton. We've got lots of lovely um, uh, cotton lawns in. Uh, they are 13, 50 a metre. We've got different colourways. We've got rusts, blacks, blues, blacks. Um, yeah lots of different things um so that's that pattern um what else have i got okay this is a this is a plus size pattern uh which is a wrap with a little tie at the side uh, which is nice it's also got this kind of um uh, feature around the neck uh something a bit more floaty so a couple of them uh did uh designs with sort of a slightly curved wrap at the front uh, and a frill so that would uh, fit that bill that would be suitable in a viscous type fabric something nice and flowy um, that's another frill type one sorry my fingers in the way um, and you can see that it has this shaped crossover at the front and a dropped hem at the back Uh, those are the floaty ones so they're sort of viscousy fabrics are quite free-flowing fabrics they're a bit more slippery to work with but they do hang really really well um, you'll find a lot of um, clothes in Primark are made for them uh, a viscousy type fabric so we've got this oh, lots of different viscouses we've got this we've got this, this in a blue colorway as well um, and then we've got yeah, we've got mustards, blacks, uh, blues. <laughs> uh, we've got a lovely red. Um, that would be a real statement dress uh, in the red. Viscous. Okay. Uh, now, I think Chi Chi used a, a, a silky satin, a pale green, um, which is a really difficult fabric to use. And she, she came unstuck. With her hem and it didn't quite fit properly it was a bit gapy at the back um that's the problem with a fabric like that it's just going to show everything but um i did think what she did need was a rolled hem foot to do her hem uh, and we should be getting some of those in shortly right moving on there were some more oh no that was a bit of a flout this is a, a mixture this pattern so you've got the kind of the flouncy one which you could do in a viscous or it's got a more structured one which would be more suitable for um, a poplin, a, a linen or a, a lawn. Okay, um, that's another wrap. This I picked this one out because it's got the binding, um, like the dress that uh, was the garment of the week. Um, I think it was a garment of the week. <laughs> I've forgotten already. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the a kind of a Chinese style kind of with the dark binding. 
uh, which was quite striking. So that would be suitable in a more structured fabric, a woven fabric like a poplin, a lawn uh, or a linen. Uh, so linens. Uh, the, there was one of the um, asymmetric dresses was done in, in about three different colour linens. Um, uh, one of the chaps did it. Uh, it was a, it didn't fit so well at the back, I seem to remember. Anyway, we've got lots of limits. These are really lovely to work with. I've just made some trousers out of this in the navy. Um, and it is a really lovely linen to work with. We've got them in um, the rust, the gold, navy, black, um, like a pistachio green, chartreuse, I think we'll call it. Put that back out of the way. Um, and the other fabric... And I'm not sure if anybody used um, a, a jersey, but you could do a wrap dress and a jersey, which is a kind of a classic um, fabric for a wrap dress to be in, because you can pull it around your bust, because obviously wraps fit differently depending how big your boobies are. And I like a wrap that is quite secure, <laughs> otherwise it can get a bit gapy. And then you have to wear what my daughter refers to as a stupid teacher top, Apologies for any teachers, i.e. a little camisole top underneath, for modesty so that you don't flash every time you, you move or bend over. Anyway, moving on. Uh, this is a classic wrap. It's got the asymmetric hem, which is what a couple of guys did. You, This is suitable for jerseys, I think. Should have, yeah, moderate stretch knits. Um, so you wouldn't really want to do that in the linen like the guys did, but if you sized it, sized it differently, I guess you could. Uh, but it might, yeah, it might gap a bit. Anyway, be nice in a jersey, that. Jersey-wise, we've got a few jerseys, not a huge amount. Um, we've got um, this in a rust uh, and the blue colourway. We did have it in the green. Um, we've actually got a dress on the rail that's um, a wrap dress that was made up in the green jersey. This is nice to sew because it's quite a stable jersey. Um, if you wanted something a bit bolder, make a bit of a statement, statement dress. Ta -da! Um, and that too is a really nice weight jersey. So that would hang really nicely. And you could pull it, pull it in shape over your boobies. Uh, right. Um, there were a couple of sort of dressing gown style um wrap dresses so i picked that one out um that was quite short oh well, there was one that was really short wasn't there um yeah and it's got like a curved front so it's quite nice that would be in a, a, a kind of a floaty drapey fabric oh marnie did hers in a denim so we've got um a soft um stretch denim which would work well uh, it's only got a little bit of stretch in it and it's really nice to sew it's very stable it doesn't feel like a stretch when you're sewing it so that would work well also um chambray would look nice too if you wanted a plain rather than a patterned dress okay finally there's a couple of patterns here which are kind of false wraps so they wrap at the top but then they're stitched below so you don't flap on the lower half um i've made this one um this was the mustard leopard print dress that was in the last window that we had um it's quite straightforward to make this one i made which version did i make i made that version um made it a bit longer than knee length but i think i'm going to cut it off and make it knee length um but there's a really lovely um maxi version with the tears but this this isn't a wrap here it's stitched so you don't flash your legs which uh, is quite nice and then this is another kind of faux wrap it does actually wrap over at the front but then it's fixed but this one is gathered from the waist oh and this one as well it's elastic around the back so it's nice and comfy um yeah so that's it really uh so uh, i think the right person left uh, i won't say who it is in case you haven't seen it yet <laughs> Oh, but then if you're watching this, you probably have seen it. Anyway, um, I'm looking forward to next week and to what the challenges are next week. Okay, have fun. Happy sewing. Um, some of these fabrics aren't on the website at the moment. So if you are interested in buying any of them, give us a call and um, we will sort that out for you. 
Okay, bye.